We have seen many attempts to hide root access trojans, malicious software in form of a normal picture, an npm package, morse code, many other formats. But this one, I never seen this at all. This one comes from a North Korean entity. They designed this uh, this nasty root access trojan rat. It can hide from even advanced uh, security software. How about we jump into it and condone first the, the malicious intent behind this Trojan. But from an engineer perspective, I gotta, I gotta give them props for thinking beyond the box, outside the box. This is cool engineering. Normal script kiddies and hackers can do this stuff. This is someone who understands what's going on. Let's get into it. Guys, welcome to the Backend Engineering Show. My name is Hussein Nasser, and today we're discussing this new attack. Lazarus, APT conceals malicious code within BMP image to drop its root access Trojan. So Lazarus APT is one of the most sophisticated North Korean threat actors that has been active since at least 2009. So they've been doing this. This is not their first rodeo, apparently. But they managed to hide stuff into a BMP, a bitmap. You might say, Hussein, this is not new. This is just steganography. We have done this before. No, 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 no. This is a completely different beast. They look at the process graph. Thank you so much for the threat intelligence team at, uh, to, that, that decoded all this stuff. Look at this complexity. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just summarize what's going on here. This is the summary. You start by opening a document, a Word document, with a macro in it. Surprise, surprise. Why do macros exist? I have no idea. It's always the start of the thing. Obviously, macros have so, sort of a security umbrella that you cannot do anything. You don't just run a program from a macro. Otherwise, that would be really easy. You, had, you can do certain things, but not everything. So what they do is they take this macro. Once you run it, you... you they extract from the document itself a bunch of B PNG, just normal PNG pictures, right? And then from the PNG, they extract, they convert the PNG into a bitmap, BMP, and the bitmap will have the HTML and JavaScript. Then they run the JavaScript, and when they run the JavaScript, that, that is not enough. That's not, the, that's not the end. The JavaScript will create a file by writing to disk. Yes, JavaScript can have access to, to the disk if you, if you create an object through the Internet Explorer object, create object. And you can write to disk a binary. You can write a bit, bits of bytes that represent a binary, appstore.exe. This is the case. And then that app, they start this app. This is, this is not the Trojan. Appstore.exe is not the Trojan. Otherwise, it will be immediately detect, detected, right? App Store XE inside it have a, an encrypted payload that actually have the Trojan, the root access uh, Trojan, right? And then inside the App the Store, there is the decryption key. So the App Store takes the decryption key, uh, decrypts the content, and then runs, loads that in memory, not in disk, so that it can be scanned by viruses, loaded in memory, and then executed directly in memory. And then that will eventually have the C2 communication. Nasty, nasty stuff. <laughs> All right, in order to understand this, really, we really, I, I, I spent some time learning about this, like, wait a second, what, how, converting BNG to BMP, and all of a sudden you have a code? How does that work? So there's a lot of things that we need to really understand here. First of all, B, the portable network graphic with PNG, what is that really? It's nothing but a compressed image. But what type of compression? There is something called deflate. This is a compression. Let's read through this a little bit. PNG uses deflate and non-patented looseless data compression. That's the key. It's looseless. That means whatever you put there, you can decompress it and you can still have the actual content right involving a combination of eel lz77 huffman coding a permissively licensed deflate implementation such as zlip are widely used this is the comprint here zlip they compressed an html and javascript file which is called an hta something that microsoft support for some reason hta microsoft it's called an html application 
This is, so this is something that Microsoft supports since, since 1999. So you have an extension .hta, you can put HTML and JavaScript or VBScript, oh, the days of VBScript, oh my God. And you can just run this stuff as an .hta. So they have a .hta file, they compressed it with zlib, they put that zlib into the BNG, and now it looks like a safe picture. This is technically not Steganer if you think about it. It's kind of one of it, one of the time. But you're just leveraging the compression concept of a PNG file to store your own zip file, not an actual image. So the next step is when you execute the macro, that's the document, it takes that document, extract the images which is just inside the document that's not hard and there's the there's a, they show, actually show you the code but no i'm not interested in that i'm interested in this look at this gets the image file that has an embedded zlib object right which is the image 003.png right and then uses a legitimate function that's called wia i think windows instrumentation something convert image they convert the png to a bitmap, here's my picture converted to BMP, please. In the process of doing that, the function will decompress the file that is inside the BNG because that's how BNG works. It's just a bunch of compressing. And when you open a BNG, it actually get decompressed. So you accidentally decompress and put the raw content inside the PNG. Yet yeah, it's not viewable, but that's fine. Now, this is part of the st steganography where the bitmap itself has an HTA file. And look at that, HTML header. <laughs> this is where it says zlib compressed data that's in the PNG. And this is where it says HTML document header. So for those listening, we're just looking at the B PNG versus the decompressed bitmap. And there is the HTA file there. And you can look at the code for the HTA file. And the code on the HTA file has JavaScript in it. What does it do? The JavaScript drops a payload in form of, uh, in form, uh, this, is, this is the payload. This is what does the JavaScript do? It writes to, as it writes to a location, public library, and look at that. They try to make it as confusing as possible so, so that it doesn't trigger any kind of scanning antivirus or anything like that. So instead of actually putting the path, they obfuscate it a little bit. So C colon slash users, instead of users, they will put, put in a single string, C colon slash U, let's close the string, and then plus zers slash publi, and then another string plus C, so that will be C users public, C library, libraries app store.exe. So yeah, <laughs> app store.exe, definitely not shady at all. And then they start writing a binary to that file. And that binary will have part of it will have the actual executable. And then part of it will have an encrypted piece of the root, uh, the root, uh, root access Trojan. So it is, and look at that. We're looking at now the app.exe, app store.exe, which the, and then binary, binary format. Look at that. The first, aspect of there is obviously the actual code of the app.exe but the next of it there is a decryption key inside the app.store but the rest of stuff is the actual encrypted and encoded payload of the root access trojan how many layers are there to hide how how far can you go to hide your stuff yeah you might say i'm saying oh that's dumb putting the key inside the inside the exe no, that's not dumb, because who would think that this is actually a key? You don't know that. The key doesn't scream that, hey, this is a key, right? Even antiviruses cannot detect that, unless this is a very known encryption algorithm, right? But they don't use their own encryption. They just use XOR, as far as I read from this article. But this is absolutely genius. Again, I'm condoning the malicious intent behind this, but I gotta give them props with this uh, genius of, of engineering. They, they thought about all of this stuff. This is not someone normal who built this thing. There's, 
there's smart people building this thing, which 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 is really scary. It makes me really scared thinking about all these geniuses that kind of dedicate their time and and smart and effort and tiredness all in building such unfortunate bad intent apps but look at this guys i'm going to reference this article below uh, this is absolutely absolutely bad but looks like this malware bytes has detected this now they they introduced this new technique to their is malware bytes a, a software i i didn't know that looks like i i'm just i just stumble upon their blog really but it looks like it's actually a software now they train their software to learn about this attack so that yeah uh you can't just be tricked as easily so building antiviruses is not really easy let's read this conclusion what's the conclusion the lizard the lazarus threat actor is one of the most active and sophisticated North Korean threat actors that has targeted several countries, including South Korea, the US, Japan, uh, in the past couple of years. The group is known to develop custom malware families and use new techniques in its operation. Oh, so this is, this is not their first rodeo. They've been doing this for a long time. Again, I'm, I'm not familiar with them, with their work. I just saw this on, on Google News and thought it's just interesting to talk about it here on the channel in this blog we documented a spear phishing attack so that's what was called spear phishing attack so sending a document that looks legitimate from a legitimate email so you definitely open it from if it's from your boss for example right say so, hey i want you to look take a look at this team's document for example I'll open this link how do you know operated by this apt group that has targeted south korea what's apt again the actor has used a clever method to bypass security mechanism. Even they uh, uh, admit that it's clever. It's uh, clever. Guys, what do you think? Come on. Don't tell me this is dumb. This is just... Let's cue in the Neil deGrasse Tyson meme. The actor has used a clever method to bypass security mechanism in which it has embedded its malicious HTA file as a compressed Zlib within a png file then that then has been decompressed during runtime by converting itself to bmp file the format the drop payload was a loader that decoded and decrypted the second stage payload into memory the second stage payload has the capability to receive and execute command shell code as well as perform exfiltration and communication to a command and control server and they show the un the malware anti exploit uh, picture here that now they actually detect this. So it's like it's like an AI now. That's just like let's train our software so it does understand the sneakiness. But obviously humans are way fast, smarter than AI, and those North Koreans will just come up with a, another another one. DJ Khaled. They will just come up with another one, another one, another smarter, another sneakier attacks this is not the end guys this is definitely not the end uh all right guys that's it for me today i'm gonna see you in the next one make sure to subscribe check out the content check out the podcast if you're listening to the podcast sam thank you so much uh rate us on apple podcast if you enjoy this show and i'm gonna see you in the next one you guys stay awesome goodbye y'all